Hello everyone. So I have updated my flying car system into Unreal Engine 5. So here is the demonstration. Animations are not perfect. <laughs> Those are just modified animations uh, by me inside Unreal. But it is working. So yeah, this is the demonstration. Let me land it. And exit so yeah so uh, system is working without an issue in Unreal 5 and I recently got a request from one of the patrons to show uh, how to implement a free camera system for the car so that when we get in the car as you can see here uh, it automatically goes back to the car and after that we can't move the car uh, we can't move the camera so what you want is instead of making it like that when we enter the car and after entering we should uh, we should be able to keep the camera freely so we should be able to look around and also when we enter the car enter the car the camera should uh, remain in the same angle right so let's see how to do that let me go into the car blueprint and here camera is attached like this with the string arm of course so let's copy the camera controls from our third person character. So first thing is camera boom. We have enabled use spawn control rotation. So let me enable that here. So when I do the camera goes in front. Oh, it has 180. Okay. So Right. actually after we enable in this option we can't uh, rotate the camera so yeah that's how it works so let's first copy the controls camera controls the uh, here mouse input these options let me just copy this in here Right, now I can look around and move. So the free camera is active. Uh, the only problem is keeping the camera angle same when we enter the car. So we need to keep the same angle after we enter the car so without going to that uh, forward direction so how can we do that so the camera transition if you remember happens here after we start interaction that means when we go near the car and press e uh, the character gets in the car and after that here this is doors closing and opening and the door closing here we have control transition use note okay now here what happens is uh, before we possess the car that means before we control transfer the control into the car pawn we set the camera components word transform with the current camera components were transform so that's how we get the same look get the car's camera and 
the player camera into the same location and after that we process then we move the camera component this is a, uh, still attached to the spring arm after that we set the we move the camera into 0 0 0 0 local location and rotation uh, to make it align with the car's intended camera so now uh, in order to keep the same angle even after getting in to the car maybe we can do something like this we can get the spring arm uh, no mm -hmm. let's detach the camera from whatever the parent it is attached to that means the spring arm so I'll keep the word location rotation is cable doesn't matter but still I'll set it to keep word right now what should happen is after I get in, in the camera will stay in the same angle or oh, it didn't why ah this is the problem we are moving it to zero zero let me detach this so when there is no parent it moves to the zero zero location of the world see now i am inside and camera is detached so camera is not following the car anymore so now what we have to do is we still need to keep the camera attached to the spring arm so here after getting the player control let me set control rotation with the with the cameras this cameras world rotation so it word rotation and then we have to reattach camera back to the spray now keep word everything should be word see Good to plug parent. That's wrong. Before reattaching the camera, let me add a small delay here. Point five seconds. Right now it is working, but the, there should be an offset in between camera and the spring arm because of uh, 
because there should be because we keep here when we attach we keep word transform what if I move it back to zero zero so then we will get the original distance of from the attached location to the camera so we will have the correct length of a spray now applied length wouldn't be different but the camera will have an offset see right now it moves away from camera to adjust to match uh, the spring arm length that we have aside so i think that should be okay because that is we need that otherwise we will the camera will clip through the car if the arm length is too short okay so with this i'm going to stop this episode and later on i plan to add some particle effects uh, like some for example these engines so like the exhaust effect to make this look better okay so yeah let me exit and see check if everything works fine yeah, the animation A has some clipping problems, but other than that, everything works fine. Okay, so thanks for watching. As always, project files will be available here for the download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye. And this episode is sponsored by this generous Patreon. Thank you very much for your support.